Hello, hello, hello. Today is Sunday, February 23, 2025. You follow the solutions to problem 223. I gave an extremely similar solution on the second exam of 802. It was problem number 7. I will show you how you can find all my problems of all my homework assignments and all my exams and the solutions on my channel. The reason why I want to show you that because many of you do not know how to do that. So let us go to exam 2 of 802 to problem 7. You click on playlists. You go down here and you see here 802 homework exam solutions and lecture notes. You click on that and you see now on the right, oh, let me just turn this off. You see here now on the right, the assignments of 802 and the solutions assignment 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, exam 1, exam 2. And if now you click on this exam 2, I will not do that here now, but if you click on that, you will see the entire exam, the problems, and you will see the solutions. And I will show you the picture of that problem 7. I think I have that picture here. There it is. So this is the picture of problem 7, exam 2. We have a rod which is rotating with angular velocity omega. Magnetic field is pointing into the blackboard. And here is a resistor. And the question on that exam was, what is the current through that resistor? In problem 223, as you will see Eugen's solutions, we're asking the potential difference between this point and this point. And so what Eugen does now, he places in here a voltmeter. A voltmeter has an enormously high resistance, so we don't ask for the current, but we ask for the, the potential difference. So he has a resistance here which is extremely high. So you see, the problems are almost identical. So let's now go to Eugen Solutions, where he calculates the potential difference between here and there. So here you see organ solutions. Walter Lubin, problem 223. So you see what I just told you, you see the rod here, angular velocity omega, and he measures the potential difference between this point and this point by simply putting a voltmeter in here with a huge resistance. He calculates the area, this area here, high school maths, 1 of L squared theta, and then he calculates a magnetic flux through that area piece of cake. 
multiply the area by the magnetic field B. Now he applies Faraday's law. The EMF is minus the phi dt. But he measures the magnitude of the EMF, so he doesn't worry about the minus sign. And so this is the answer. It is d phi dt, and this is phi, so trivial. So the answer is 1 half b l squared omega. And many of you have that correct, at least 25 people. In the case of problem 7, of exam 2, we ask for the current, since v equals i r, if you want to know i, then of course it is this value divided by r. What is interesting, that Eugen also says, if I attach a voltmeter, as shown here, so that it moves with the rod, then the phi dt would be zero, because the ADT, this surface area ADT, is zero. So the meter would read V equals zero. That's it. Our next problem will be 225, because we already did 224.